Hi, this is Ginger from my sister Scrapper. I have a project I want to share with you today. I had purchased this Bow Bunny Mamorazzi 2 6x6 paper pad back in the springtime when it first came out. And um, I bought that as well as the sticker sheet and two pieces of 12x12. 12 12. So I finally dug it out and decided to go ahead and make something. And I created obviously a little mini album. So here's what I created and I thought it turned out pretty cute. I actually decided I really needed to come up, why well, I didn't think of this earlier, but a way to use the bulk of the papers in the six by six. So instead of having to cut my papers three and a half inches wide, I thought, why don't I make them so I only have to cut them three inches wide, then I can get two pieces of paper out of one sheet of six by six. So anyway, that's what I did when I constructed this mini album. So on the front, I took some of the stickers and um, it was actually one long sticker word and I cut it apart so it would fit on the front of the album and I layered it on some black cardstock, put it on some uh, Stampin' Up Dimensionals and it says a day to remember. There's another sticker here from the sticker sheet that I put on black cardstock and used a circle punch and punched it out with a little camera and here's another camera down here. I have some Tim Holtz and it comes in this cute little canister uh, film strip tape right here and I just added that on with some glossy accents and then this camera was one that I had in my stash for quite a while and I got it at Michael's in the $1.50 bin. I did take some black paint and kind of rub over it just to take some of the brassiness down as well as um, some alcohol ink and put that on top. And then for the center lens here, I went ahead and added a layer of glossy accents to make it kind of shiny. I added a little uh, post here that I actually got from, um, this is a hitch post, but it's not from Tim Holtz. I actually got those from Butterbee Scraps, Scraps Zibit Store. And then I have just a little piece of chain here. And then I used an extra large eyelet as well. So the closure is just a chain that loops over the hitch post to keep it closed. And on the binding, what I did was I used some uh, Tim Holtz ball chain to create the binding and I used some eyelets here and weaved it through. And then this is the back of the mini album. So I used black chipboard for the covers and the spine and then the pages are just made out of black cardstock. So you open it up. And on the inside, I kept it pretty simple. This is a strip of film strip right here, a sticker from the sticker sheet. Another sticker that I uh, went ahead and put on a scallop circle and punched it out. And then I added it with a little Tim Holtz paper clip. And so it's double sided. And then there's a little photo corner here and here. It's a metal that I got at Better Be Scraps Zibit Store. So that just clips back, back on there. So on the first page, I again use some of the stickers and just layered them up. It's pretty simple. Um, I have some tags here at the top. They're kind of long and skinny, but again, I was able to utilize the entire six by six paper pad. I only have a couple little things left for scraps. I added some extra large uh, eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers at the top of each of the tags. So the next page, again, I have a little photo mat here and another sticker from the sticker sheet. Again, same thing over here, a photo mat and a sticker from the sticker sheet, and here is the tag. This paper is Darling. I know this is the Mamorazzi 2 version, and I didn't do the Mamorazzi, the first version that came out, um, but I really like the colors in this one. Again, I uh, made, create a little belly band here, another sticker from the sticker sheet of one of those cute little cameras, and I made some little tags to go inside here. I like this one. I tried to make it look like a little Polaroid shot. It says picture perfect. And here's another one. Smile for the camera. And over here again, another little belly band with a strip of the paper. And I made a little tag here with a sticker from the sticker sheet and a photo mat on the back and another tag. And I put a photo mat on the back of that one. And then these were just some stickers that I added it to some black cardstock so it would look like a little film strip. And then it says smile on the back. And some more stickers right here. And there's the tag for this one. And over here I added some more of that Tim Holtz film strip. Another sticker from the sticker sheet. And over here I added a little flap with a magnet closure. And a little camera from the sticker sheet. And another little word that says cheese. And then I went ahead and added a photo mat right here. This is picture. And the tag for this one. 
And over here, I used my EK Success uh, film strip punch and created a little banner, uh, belly band right here. And you can stick, I left it open so you can slide the little photos underneath the film strip right here on this side. And again, some more photo mats here and another stick for there that I put on some dimensional foam tape. And here's the tag for this one. Again, another little belly band. And then these were the little stickers that were inside that little film strip thing. And I just put them on a little accordion fold. It's different little cameras. I thought they were really cute. And another um, fold out here says picture perfect. And you open it up and there's a spot for two photos. This was actually a die cut from one of the 12 by 12 sheets that I had purchased. And on the last page, again, another photo mat and a sticker from the sticker sheet. And here's the tag for this one. And on the back again, oh snap, a little metal embellishment that I found in my stash I adhered right there. And then here's the back inside cover. So that's my little mini album. And um, the way I did the binding on this is just the holes with the chain. I actually, my inspiration came from a video that I had seen quite a while back from, uh, her YouTube name is Angel Wings 1400, but I'll put a link down to her, uh, her video she did a cute little smaller mini album with this type of a chain kind of binding. I kind of altered mine a little bit different because I added a third set of holes. But um, her video is really, really darling. So there you go, everybody. That's my little project using my Bow Bunny Mamarazzi 2 paper collection. But what I did, I wanted to use up all the paper. So I made this little mini album, and then with what I had left, I created this little pocket mini album. And again, um, real simple, and I've made several of these before. It's a great way to use up your scraps, and I wanted to eliminate most of the paper so I didn't have a lot of leftovers. Um, these are stickers that I just randomly added here, some more film strip from Tim Holtz, and a little um, charm clock that I got uh, from Michaels. Again, another sticker here. I used my cinch to bind it. I have a couple of little charms here that I got from Butterbee Scraps that are right here. One is a little key. And the other one is a little tiny camera right there. So you open it up again, real simple. I just wanted to use um, my leftovers to try to use as much as I could. Um, I have a little flap here, a little sticker that says click. So this is strictly just for little photos. You could throw this in your purse or your wallet. It's really cute. And little photo mats here. I use my corner chompers on the edges. Again, a photo mat here with a sticker. So they're pretty consistent. I added a flap and then a photo mat on each page to keep it consistent. And then this one I put the flap at the top with the photo mat and then again all these little photo mats are exactly the same. They just have design paper on both sides. And again a photo mat here, another flap, and um, another flap here. I didn't put a photo mat on this because it's already got photo mat so I like little Polaroid so I left that one plain and I added the photo mat on this side as well with the flap. Again a photo mat here and another little flap stickers from the sticker sheet. Again um, these are all pretty much the same but just plain with design paper. And the last page on the back inside cover I added a photo mat with a little sticker that says priceless. And again the covers are black chipboard. So I had that and then I had just enough little um, paper to make one more little thing <laughs> and this is super super simple um, again I had some letters that I used in the sticker sheet that I went ahead and put um, on some black cardstock and it says smile I tied it with a ribbon closure this is some ribbon I had in my stash and so it opens like this and this is made out of one sheet of 12 by 12 and you open it up it's strictly for photos. There's no embellishing whatsoever. So you can put a photo here and a photo here and then this pulls down and you can do another couple of photos there and then you flip the page over and there's more photos here and then again photo here. This folds down for three more photos and then it folds back up this and then you flip it over and there is the back. 
So that's the last little project I made. So I actually got three projects out of this six by six paper pad along with two pieces of 12 by 12. So there you go, everybody. Those are my little projects and I have no paper left over. I have a few stickers left in the sticker sheet, but that's it. So there you go, everybody. That's my projects. Thanks for watching. Bye.